A few days ago, I asked a question on the community tab that reads, I currently have $255.96 worth of pre-scheduled catering orders, which would take me an hour and 20 minutes of work set for the 23rd on Deliver That. Would you like to see my experience? And 92% of you said yes. So I might as well take you on a Deliver That ride along, which is the sponsor of this video. So if you're ready, make sure you hit subscribe, click the bell, and join the family because no one else will understand what you go through except another driver just like you. Let's get started. Good morning. Ha ha ha. Nice and dark, isn't it? It is currently, can you see that time? 6.31 a.m. I'm here to pick up a catering order for Deliver That, my very first one, um, while my phone loads up here. Uh, the pickup is for 7.05 a.m. Um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm early. Uh, $514.89 is only going 1.4 miles. And the total payout will be about $41.15. Uh, this restaurant, I love this restaurant, by the way, because they have a back alleyway. Let me show you. See that? A back alleyway that's away from congestion, and I don't have to worry about nothing going on back here. Except if I were to leave my vehicle back here, you know, I don't know what might happen. But they have a back door right here, and I could just sit here, chill here. There's no traffic going in and out. Uh, this is just the perfect situation. But this restaurant, I'm going to be paid $41.15. Great to get my day started. My next one after that will be at 10.25 a.m., and then the last one for the day that's gonna put me at that number that I put on a community tab is 5.55 p.m. Uh, my kids get out of school early today, early release. Always a fan of early release, right? I feel like early release sometimes it gets in the way of me trying to make some bread, but you know, it still works out the way that I was able to rob myself. So the first pickup here that I'm here to get right now is 7.05. The next one after this will be 10.25. Um, and the very last one for the day will be at 5.55. Good morning. I have a catering. Not ready yet. Yeah, no, I know it's not ready yet, but I'm just saying like for 7.05? Uh oh. <laughs> Today, 8 a.m. Do at 8 a.m. Must be delivered at 7.30. I have to deliver it by 7.30. But I have to pick it up by 7.05. See? Delivered at 7.30. Okay, give me Sometimes the restaurants seem to get, you know, the times mixed up as to when it's supposed to be delivered versus when it's supposed to be picked up because the way they get it is through a receipt. But that's why I like to be early sometimes to at least communicate with them, hey, I gotta pick this up by this time. And, you know, sometimes the, the time is wrong on their end or the time is wrong on my end, but we just work it out. Hey, yo, the food ready? Okay, so I just went to check on the order. It's currently 7.08, so that means it's slightly behind. I was supposed to pick it up by 7.05, but they said they need about five more minutes. So if it goes over 15 minutes, I get an extra $5 for 15 minutes of wait time. So to me, that extra money is a plus. So I'm not gonna complain at all. You put it in. Is this everything? Yes. Oh, that's everything. Okay, uh, I need a signature. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See, this is $500 worth of food from this particular restaurant. This is not a lot to me. This might be a lot to some people, but it's not a lot to me. And whatever that's not a lot, I always look at it like, man, this is easy work, you know? So $500 for 41 bucks and some change, let's go knock this out. Thank you. 
A lot of customers I come across know exactly how they want the food set up, but there are a few that don't. And in this case, the customer just wanted to wing it. At one moment, she wanted all of the platters on one side, then it changed to wanting platters on both sides. In this moment, I'm just trying to be the best helper that I can be because I want them to be happy with the ending result. A lot of times, I try to set everything up how I think the customer might want it, and they don't even want it that way. But I usually just try to go with the flow because even though I might want to set it up and make it look all nice and pretty, right? So I could take my picture and upload it. Most times, they don't even want it the way I set it up. Sometimes they have, they want to have the, the, the people that's going to be eating coming in from both sides of the table or just one side of the table. In this case, she just, she just wanted to scatter everything. You know, it's just like, okay, so why should I make it perfect? Like I want it when this is the customer and I'm just trying to give them the best customer service as possible. Why? Why would I want to make it look pretty? I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about the customer. The customer is always right. So I'm not going to go against what they want. Hey, yo, bring the next one. Come. It's only this? Yeah. Okay. Everything cold? Cold? Oh. This one is cold, but this one no. This is not? No. Okay. But you can put it like this. You can put the other one over there. I'll see what you think. All right. Okay, that's it. All right. Uh, it was one fruit medley, one Caesar salad, mm -hmm. these two, and the over there. All right. Signature. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Oops. This and I have to take a picture of it. All right, that order has been completed. It is now 10.46 a.m. And I have to go pick up my boys from school because today is early release. I was on the phone with a friend of mine earlier and they said, what is early release? I was like, well, you never had early release? They didn't know what that was. And I said, I guess it's a Florida thing. Early release, they get out at 11.50 compared to the typical time they get out at elementary school. So, I'm gonna pick them up, take them home, get them situated, wait for my wife to get home. Then I have a 5.55 pickup, which is the large order. That's the one I can't wait for y'all to see. That one pays me, it's gonna pay me 186 bucks, and that's gonna put me at my 250 plus amount that I shared on the community tab. So with that said, I'll see y'all then. Well, this one bigger than big. And now I'm back on the road. I'm headed to the pickup. This is gonna be $2,300 worth of food. Really, it's $2,295, but I, well, I might as well just give the extra five bucks. But yeah, $2,300 worth of food, and uh, the total payout is gonna be 186 bucks. So, I don't wanna talk your ears off more than I have already. Let's go get this. How's it going, man? I just have a quick question. Yeah. I have a large order I was going to be picking up from here in about an hour. Do you know about it? It's a catering. It's a catering. Yeah. That's not all of it. That can't be all of it, though. It's a big one. At first, I was a bit concerned as to whether they had the order or not, but they do have it. <laughs> it was just trying to find, I guess they have another location that is working on it as well. Having an SUV makes catering orders this large and easy pickup. I just laid my back seats down and abracadabra, instant large order cargo space. I can't even imagine what all these bags would look like stacked up in a car. Some of you might look at this like this is a lot of stuff. I've had way more than this packed inside of this SUV. So this is not a lot to me. And if you have a larger SUV than I have, you will probably be able to fit a lot more than I can. This is just in, just a CRV, a Honda CRV, and it's doing this right here. And I'm gonna make 186 bucks on this order. I have a large order for you guys. Okay. So okay. what you want me to do? Uh, if you want to bring it right there, Where? so I gonna I gonna uh, I gonna help you. So you want me to bring it around or no, right here. Oh, you okay. For for the catering or yeah, the catering. Okay, go ahead. All right. Sorry. Okay, no worries. Yeah, so, so right here, no, no, no. I mean, I have a cart unless you want to use it. 
I know, but because the car doesn't. Not the car, cart. Ah. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> you know, my English is great. It's okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring some. Uh, okay, no problem. And I'm gonna get the rest. Okay. Yeah, we go back and forth. Yeah. All right. So it is currently 6.54 p.m. I was supposed to drop this off by 6.30. It took a little extra time with setup and everything and the location inside of this area right here, all right, inside there, it, I had to go way inside there and I couldn't even take my camera with me. So I apologize if you wanted to see the entire process in there, but, um, they needed help setting everything up. It's like it was a last minute thing. People were trying to rush in and get that order done uh, or to get them people fed because the people started forming a line and everything, man. And I was like, oh, man, y'all need help. And the guy was like, please help me. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to help you. No worries. <laughs> now it's 6.55 and I'm on my way home. And that was my last order of the day. If you want to see a video of me just routing my day, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see y'all in the next one. This is...